Okay, so today we need to talk about some crazy research in glaucoma that shows that doing vagus nerve exercises, essentially just simple breathing techniques, used three times a day for six weeks, was able to lower the eye pressure naturally. And doing this not only lowered eye pressure, but also significantly altered the parasympathetic nervous system by specifically increasing vagal tone and decreasing stress biomarkers, specifically that of lower cortisol levels. So in today's episode, not only are we gonna walk through what the study found and how it works, but we'll also walk through how the breathing exercises are actually performed. Plus, toward the end, we'll share some important information that you won't wanna miss, especially if you're somebody who's already diagnosed with glaucoma. But first, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Dr. Joseph Allen. I'm a board-certified doctor of optometry, and this channel is all about helping you learn about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. If your eyes are something you value and seeing your best is something you wanna do, then make sure to hit the subscribe button to the channel and turn on the little notification bell so that you get notified whenever our next videos come out. Otherwise, let's start talking about vagus nerve and breathing exercises on lowering eye pressure. So the vagus nerve, also known as cranial nerve 10, plays a crucial role in our autonomic nervous system, communicating from our brain all the way through our thoracic cavity, and sends both sensory and motor nerve fibers to many different organs, helping regulate a lot of our involuntary movements, including things like our heart rate, our breathing, and our digestion. Because we normally don't have to think about, hey, I need to stop and digest food. No, your body just does it involuntary on its own. And this is all happening through your vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve plays a big role in the parasympathetic nervous system. Perhaps you remember from high school biology, which we referred to as kind of rest and digest. And this plays a big role in calming the system down after moments of stress, such as your heart being racing. Your parasympathetic nervous system is what brings and lowers that heart rate down. So now you may be thinking, okay, well, what does the vagus nerve have to do with glaucoma and eye pressure? Well, previous studies have shown that some people who develop glaucoma, not everybody, but some people tend to have a higher risk of kind of stressful personalities. People with A-type personality who are very competitive or just seem to be very high strung. Now, there's also evidence that people who go through acute or chronic episodes of stress may have increased levels of pressure within the eye, and that could increase the risk toward something like glaucoma. In fact, previous research from 2018, which we in fact did a video on like four or five years ago, showed that lowering stress biomarkers using mindfulness meditation was associated with a significant drop in eye pressure in patients with glaucoma. Now, the only issue with that study was that the participants did mindfulness meditation for a full hour of the day, which most people find rather difficult to kind of work into the routine, especially if you already live a busy life with work, family, kids, just everything. So while that research showed that it was possible, it didn't quite seem super practical for most people. So this new study, just published here in March of 2024, set out to see if just doing simple breathing exercises three times a day could alter vagus tone, reduce stress, and lower eye pressure, which is exactly what they found. Okay, so now let's walk through how they did these breathing exercises. So the participants did what is called a 365 breathing technique where they breathe in for five seconds and then exhale or breathe out for five seconds. And you do this in a smooth, slow, deep breath sort of manner, and you breathe through the nose, which is important because slow mechanical stimulation of the olfactory epithelium lining the inside of the nose is believed to help modulate both the autonomic system as well as brain activity. But they did this breathing, again, five seconds in, five seconds out, for a total of five minutes 
and they did this three times a day. I've actually been doing this for the last few weeks, mainly just using a timer on my phone or a timer that I keep on my desk. And they report that it's best to do it right when you wake up. And then the second time, about four hours later, around maybe lunchtime. And then the third time, right at the end of your workday, kind of before starting your evening. And because it's just a few minutes broken up several times throughout the day, it's much easier to fit into a person's schedule. Now again, this study went on for six weeks, and of the participants doing the breathing exercises, they reported an increased parasympathetic activity, which results in kind of a calming down of the system, and reported significant improvements in their resting heart rate in addition to also having significant improvements in their stress biomarkers, mainly that of lower systemic cortisol levels, which is believed to be why we're also seeing this drop in eye pressure with these breathing exercises, with the eye pressure reported to drop about 11% on average, or about two millimeters of mercury. Which, if you are an eye care provider like myself hearing this, you're probably thinking, well, that's not like a huge amount, especially compared to a lot of our medications and treatments that we use for glaucoma, often aim to lower pressure by at least 25%, which in fact is about what they found in the previous 2018 study, where doing the full hour of mindfulness meditation did lower pressure about that 25% level. But again, this study was kind of that trade-off in the practicality, like, is there something we could do that's only a few minutes a day that could also lower pressure? So a huge takeaway from this is that if you're somebody who already has been diagnosed with glaucoma and you're using medications for glaucoma, you're being treated for it, by no means don't stop taking your medications, but consider perhaps these breathing techniques as maybe an adjunct, perhaps talking with your provider and letting them know, hey, you want to try to start using this lifestyle change to see if these just breathing techniques could perhaps help lower the pressure further. I mean, it's two extra points. Plus decreasing stress levels, sign me up. And no joke for me personally, the last several weeks, I swear I've been getting better sleep, I have been more relaxed, I've been handling stress uh, a lot better, and we're putting on a lot of new things from the channel right now, so we got a lot of moving parts going on, but I've just been in a better mood. And is it purely related to me trying these breathing techniques? Hard to say, but I like to think it is helping. And I'll just add here that I think it's really fascinating that not only does this lower eye pressure, but again, the evidence that it changes vagal tone, reducing your resting heart rate, and reducing stress biomarkers like cortisol, kind of makes me wonder if doing these simple exercises could also be used for other stress-related eye conditions, such as eyelid myokymia or eyelid twitches, or perhaps another condition called central serous chorioretinopathy, which is kind of like a blister that forms in the back of the eye from higher levels of cortisol in the system, or perhaps even conditions like eye strain or even dry eye, because those conditions are also strongly linked to anxiety and depression and distress. And so I wonder if, yeah, doing these breathing exercises could potentially help all these conditions. But from here, I would love to read your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if you've ever tried meditation or other breathing techniques, and what kind of changes did you notice in your body, your stress levels, or anything. I think it'd be really interesting to read. Now, if you are interested in learning other lifestyle techniques or other natural ways to either lower eye pressure or prevent glaucoma, whether it be for yourself or for maybe a family member, I have done other videos and will include some additional resources in the show notes below. So always feel free to check there for more info. But otherwise, as always, don't just take my word for it. Be sure to follow up with your local eye care professional and ask them what they think is best for you and your eye health. But with all of that, I hope that you learned something new and that you have have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye on it. We'll see you in that next one.